This is Newton Cabernet Sauvignon Unfiltered 2007 Napa Valley. Now, uh, of course, Newton Vineyards has been around for several decades in the Napa Valley, producing great wines back in the 70s. And, uh, Rick Foreman was a winemaker. They're uh, one of the first wineries in uh, the Spring Mountain region of Napa, which is now, of course, has its own AVA and a lot of great wineries there. Um, the unfiltered wines were something that Newton started with, uh, I think, back in the 90s, when it was um, it was a pretty new concept to make California wines unfiltered. And these have become their, their signature wines, their, their top of the line wines. Um, this one is 89% uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, 9% Syrah, uh, and then 1% each of Merlot and Petit Verdot. Um, so they're, they're actually doing good things with Syrah in that area too. But, um, they blend in a little bit of that with the Cabernet, give it some real character, some real uh, kick. And then they age the wines 20 months in French oak, 50% new barrels. So the nose is really coming up on this wine. Wow, black currant. Mm. Black cherry. Anise, star anise. Um, getting like a, almost a cherry pie note of sweet and spice at the same time. Some uh, little dark chocolate notes also. Really pretty nose. Let's taste. Mm. Wow, really full bodied. Um, that's what this, um, <laughs> these unfiltered wines are characteristically. Full-bodied wines, a lot of intensity, a lot of um, extraction, a lot of body, a lot of, um, a lot of flavor, frankly. I'm getting all of that black currant flavor, all those, those wonderful um, spicy, anisey notes, along with dark chocolate notes. Um, I do get a fair dose of tannins in this wine. You know, a real, a real backbone it says to me that uh, this is a wine you should lay down for probably three to five to eight years, maybe, to really see what it can become. Um, but wow, there's a lot going on in here right now. And uh, of course, 07 Vintage contributing to that. But. Um, very complex, very interesting wine, very nice. Enjoy.